I really feel like Galantris is Sanderson's weakest book, and I don't often say that because, in general, I feel like Sanderson's a really solid writer. If you know how I feel about him, you'll know that he's on my radar as a good writer, but I don't see him as this just great sage of science fiction and fantasy that everybody else seems to see him as. I see him as just a good writer that's almost exactly, you know, pulp fantasy, but nothing more than that. And it seems like Galantris is the extent of that to its greatest degree and I just see all of the flaws of Sanderson just sprinkled throughout all of his series and I just see it all cultivated towards in this one novel so needless to say I'm not a big fan of it but I will go on and explain it in deeper depth. I read Elantris on audiobook and it took me an absolutely long time because of how absolutely boring it was. It's incredibly boring. Uh, this story, if you don't know, is a very early story of Sanderson's. It's the first one that he got published in and it's for some reason read, uh, led to a lot of critical acclaim because it started the entire Sanderson, you know, catalog that we know today and people still refer to it as one of the good Sanderson books. The problem is, uh, it's kind of considered the worst Sanderson book because like all of them are good and this is the worst of them all and I'd have to completely agree. There's so many things about Sanderson that I've talked about have that are like kind of awful and they are all cultivated in a big way here. My biggest problem with Sanderson across all of his works is the extremely non-existent thematic substance. I'm a big themes guy and I really want to learn something from the text but it seems like Brandon Sanderson has brought so little new stuff to the table. He's, he's taken everything that's old and really made it interesting by adding small twists and stuff but there's so little new material in his actual books thematically, culturally, stuff like that that I just can't like see it as anything that valuable and this is just the biggest extent of this now here we have I think his most interesting idea yet Elantris the city where you know these people just eventually are hit by the shield and they get transported in and they're they're kind of like gonna be these zombies for the rest of their life and then they kind of have to reverse all of that that's the entire plot now that's a really interesting plot and I think in terms of how that plot progressed Technically speaking, those story beats were very well done, but everything except for those story beats, like the rest of the story, the majority of the side plots, as well as the in-betweens of the main story beats are extremely stagnant. They're, they're so unbelievably boring that I really, really did not like the plot of this book. Of course, as I said before, the concept itself is actually a really good concept. However, it's one of those concepts that's really good in theory, that seems to be like this one-liner that's like really solid, but then when you try to stretch it into an actual novel, there's so much garbage that it just filled in that I, I couldn't stand the extra substance. And once again, I don't need to go deep into this, but as you know, Sanderson's prose is just as normal, as bland as ever, and of course some people think that that's a great thing, and I totally respect that, but for me, it's like, you know, it's like the difference between oil painting and water painting, you know, watercolor, whatever. It's, it's completely different of style and one is just like beautiful to me and one might be completely garbage. There's, there's something about different styles of writing that makes one more appealing and one less appealing to certain people. And for me, it's so unappealing, this basic writing, this absolute, it's like it's stripped of anything of artistic value and it's just this basic writing. And because of that, I, I think about that for like all of his works and I, I can't say it's a horrible, horrible thing, but it's like, it's so average. When we get into the mixed bag of stuff, we'd really need to enter into the character work itself. Now the character work, is extremely basic on its own. The, or, the ideas for the characters are fairly smart. I do enjoy the originality played within them. It's not extremely original, but it is original. It's reasonably original, and I can't fault anything in that respect. But in terms of their arcs, they're really not at all original. They're extremely average, and they're so basically done. I've seen this, like if, if I try to quantify these arcs in my own words, I'd probably give it like a sentence and it, I'd realize immediately how basic it is because it, it's a very simple arc of like, oh, you know, becoming braver or, or learning to handle pain or trying to reclaim a kingdom. It's really such a basic arc for the characters themselves that the journey itself was extremely boring. Now don't get me wrong, a character arc is not necessary, but in a book with so little other value other than the characters themselves, because I, of course the context is great, but they really need a really good character to carry them because the plot itself was a lot of garbage stuff, but the characters, I expected them to be at least really, at least like well done in order to carry the rest of the book, but they're so average as well that I, I'm really, really getting bored by this point, which is about 40% through the book. I feel like that originality doesn't come from this way of, you know, 
of taking an average plot and being able to build a very uh, original character out of it. It's not that kind of skill. It's just the skill of there's this interesting plot that he came up with and he kind of just pulled out characters that come out naturally from that. And I feel like it's not exactly that impressive that he did that in this scenario and he could have gone a little bit further perhaps. But when I say that about the characters, uh, I do mean specifically the main characters, uh, you know, just the main four characters, which I'm not going to pronounce because I got an audiobook and I'm not even about to try to remember what that guy said, but they're very good. However, uh, all the side characters were unbelievably forgettable. I don't think, I, like literally I was listening to the book and I was Googling their names from time to time, trying to figure out who was doing this, who was doing that. And of course it's audiobook, so I don't know how to spell their name. Like Wraithen has an H, who knew? I had no clue, it's such a surprise to me when I found that out. But the side characters, um, I kept forgetting who they were, I forget, kept forgetting their details. Uh, I felt that the book was too big, to con uh, too big for just the content in it. A lot of it should have been cut out. I feel like this book could have been easily like, 50% gone. It, it's it's such a bloated book because of there's there's so many other characters that are introduced in order to introduce new plot lines. I don't know which is the order the characters came first or the plot lines came first, but either way, both of these things were very, very forgettable, and I really did not enjoy the introduction of both of these things throughout the vast majority of the story. Now I can see Sanderson pulling these characters and plot lines and thinking like, oh, we need to increase like the bulk of this story in order to make it more substantive instead of just this main storyline. But the main storyline itself was fun. Like I actually respected the main storyline because it was decent, right? The plot beats themselves were good. I enjoyed that segment of it, but when you take all of these other things that really have very little relevance compared to the actual main plot line, it's like these all, all these other things were just thrown in for the sake of adding spice to the novel and adding just kind of to bulk it up a little bit to make it feel more epic when all of these things are very, very basic. These are, these are basic political things. Like there was a couple twists that were very, very weird to me, but these twists were not heavily foreshadowed, which is okay. It, it was reasonably enough foreshadowed, but coming up to those giant twists, the twist itself was not that important, it just led up to something else that would change a conflict later on, and that changed conflict later on, at the same time, was only interesting because of its intersection with the main plot line. So this main plot line is what's absolutely carrying this entire book, and everything else in it is really, really boring. So with that being said, I totally thought that this book was like not good enough to be published. I was definitely going to give this a one star when I was reading this, about one hour from the end of it because I just thought, it's just so boring, there's nothing really interesting going on and everything is really bloated, everything is really not catching my interest. There's nothing about this book that's really pulling me in except for the main storyline and that is also being extremely slow because of the bulk of side plots going on. However, the ending, of course, as Sanderson usually does, is he ties it together extremely well, unbelievably well well to the point where all these secondary plot lines really came to the forefront. They really made it interesting. I expect a lot more from Sanderson and of course this is the first book Sanderson wrote so I'm just gonna shove it away. Of course he's gotten like 10 times better than this but as a book itself I really cannot respect this book. It is unbelievably average. Sanderson, we see a real flop from Sanderson here. Uh, maybe some of you enjoyed the book. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section why you enjoyed the book, because I really want to have a conversation. I'd really like to enjoy your thoughts on this book. Uh, if you disagree with my opinion and you really hate me, hate my guts, go ahead and dislike that video. That's cool too. But if you like my opinion, you agree with my opinion, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, anything like that, any anytime you guys want to talk to us, leave me a like. I appreciate that and I'll, I will respond to comments as well. If you like Sanderson books and like to see reviews of Sanderson books, even if they're slightly negative. If you've seen my Oathbringer, I rated it three stars. So like bear that in mind. Um, then you can go ahead and subscribe because Sanderson is on my TBR list. Uh, he's, he's a big fantasy author and of course he is a very good fantasy author and I will be going on to read more of him in the future. So if you do care for that, go ahead, check, my, check out my channel. Uh, I do have a playlist on that and subscribe if you care for that. So uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.